Hey, this is Miller from Creator and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News report. Sonata Arctica's Tony Kako is set to unleash his new band. Tony signed a record deal with Reaper Entertainment for his new project called Himmelcraft. With his self-titled debut, Tony Kako opens the curtains on his strange new world called Himmelcraft, just enough for you to take the first glimpse of what lies beyond. The album will be released on March 7th, 2025. The first single will be released on November 22nd. Germany's Paragon are celebrating the release of their new album called Metalation. It's out now through Massacre Records. A music video for the album's title track, Metalation, is now out on YouTube, so you can pick it up on digital retailers and streamers. The song is about the sickness of being a metalhead, how we become fanatics of this music, and how it rules our lives through the decades until now. It drives us onward, now and forever, so check that out. All Shall Perish have announced a show at the Regent in Los Angeles, California on April the 4th. Another reunion show, plus more. The show will also include Impending Doom, Arsonists Get All the Girls, I Declare War, and Rituals of Despair. All Shall Perish returned in May 2024 for their first live show since 2013. They also played two festivals since returning, and they also have some other dates that they're going to be playing live and some festivals, so check the websites for all the dates. Continuing with your Maximum Threshold.net rock and metal news, My Chemical Romance have announced a very special tour that just played the Black Parade album in its entirety at the When We Were Young Festival, and now My Chemical Romance will celebrate the Black Parade in the summer. The band will be performing the full album in only 10 cities across North America, produced by Live Nation, with each show featuring a different hand-selected artist as an opening act. So check the band's websites for all the dates. Void of Vision have announced their decision to call it quits. They will hold a farewell tour of their homeland to end it all. This decision follows the cancellation of their fall North American touring plans, and they just released, released their latest album, What I'll Leave Behind. That was out in September, and the tour will be in February of next year with Gideon and Unity Texas and Gnosis as support. And finally, Celeste, uh, Celestian, a designer and manufacturer of guitar and bass loudspeakers, have introduced the first in their collection of artist series impulse responses, the Tony Iommi Impulse Response. The digital collection of IRs, which captures the tones of two iconic cabinets that have been used extensively by Tony Iommi on record and on stage through different eras of Black Sabbath history for use on any digital music production platform. That iconic Iommi guitar tone is a sound that countless guitars have, uh, guitarists have aimed for, and it's now possible to get a bit closer by playing through authentic digital versions of two of the Laney cabinets used by Tony. So check that out. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.